And we're here today with SAC Lunch Lectures. And we're pleased today um, to have with us Nina Isaacson from Healing Points Acupuncture and her um, co-worker Chelsea Morgan. And they're going to talk to us about some uh, issues that you might have that you might want to come and see them about. And it's a new process that they have down at their uh, practice. So Nina. Chelsea and Janet, do you want to come up and get ready? We are proud to announce that South Utah County now has neurofeedback. Um, Healing Points Acupuncture is expanding its services to include neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is a method of training the brain to self-regulate into healthy brain patterns to resolve neurological issues such as the anxiety depression spectrum, attention deficits, behavior disorders, various sleep disorders, headaches, migraines, and some behavior disturbances, uh, emotional disturbances. I am so excited about bringing this treatment to my clinic because I spent 12 years on antidepressant and anti-anxiety medications. Every few years my doctors would add another pill to keep my depression under control and I thought I would have to live like that for the rest of my life. Then six years ago I got regular acupuncture and neurofeedback and have been drug free for six years and enjoying a high level of emotional stability. No comments from the peanut section over there. Um, I received neurofeedback training at the time, but I wanted to focus on acupuncture. Chinese medicine is my first love. And so I put my training and my equipment on the shelf and waited for the right time to start it up. And then I, I hired Chelsea Morgan to assist me in my clinic. And this girl has a mind like a steel trap, and she absorbs information like you wouldn't believe. And she flew to California and got trained in neurofeedback at the EEG Institute, which is the founder of neurofeedback. And she will continue her education this fall at UVU and study psychology. So this is how neurofeedback works, okay? The coolest thing is that your brain is constantly taking in information, processing that information, and, and deciding how to use it. What if you were able to give your brain a window into its own behavior so that it could see and understand what it was doing? Neurofeedback is that window. So you can see right now that Chelsea, this is Janet, our friend, and Chelsea is attaching the um, leads to the scalp. And the scalp is mapped out uh, as a microcosm of the body, and there are specific areas for each um, issue that we want to treat. So she's putting the, the leads on specific places. And then the computer that you can see there listens in on the brainwave activity. It, nothing goes into your brain, the computer just reads the brainwave patterns. This is called an EEG. And some of you may have had an EEG at one time or another at the hospital. Um, so then, then the technician watches the brainwave activity on her own monitor and directs the patient's monitor, the one that Janet will be watching in a moment, to display that information back to the brain. The patient just sits comfortably, and the brain is rewarded and trained with two types of uh, rewards. One is visual, one is auditory. So uh, the visual one is in the form of a video or a game, which continues uninterrupted as long as the brain is in, in healthy brain waves. And the auditory is generally music. Janet's putting on her headset now, so she'll be able to hear some music. And it's just pleasant. And that also continues uninterrupted as long as the brain is in healthy brainwave patterns. Then the computer detects if the brain um, has patterns that go out of a healthy, a healthy level. And when that happens, the reward systems stop. The video stops, or the game, and the music stops. And your brain says, hey, wait, I liked that. I liked the way that was going. I want that back. And it remembers where it was when it was doing what it liked. And it goes back there. It self-regulates. So the, the brain self-corrects back to its healthy pattern, and the positive feedback continues. How's it going over there, girls? It's going really well. We have her hooked up. Do you want to come over here and talk into the microphone? Because I don't think they can hear you over there. 
Do I need to say more about it? Oh, just, or so okay. right now she is monitoring her progress on the monitor and the computer here is these are her brain waves. So I don't know. Somebody should point maybe for me while I speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so down below is where the brain waves are being monitored. And based on oh let's see. Yeah. So right. Oh, go ahead. So usually I watch a video. Like she has a nature video that I've been watching, and and when I do that, if I my patterns go out, like sometimes the screen will go in, or sometimes it'll gray out. Um, so and then it'll the brain will figure it out and it goes back out. I don't do anything. It does it itself. Yeah, it's all doing. The brain is doing it all on the own, and. Uh, so what's happening right over there at the bottom of the screen is those are the different brain waves and there's like the alpha, the theta, the beta, and the high beta and they're all going up and down and based on what the system sets the parameters that is where they will get their reward. And so right now she has some high activity and so you cannot see the reward bars because they are off the screen. And, um, but normally, once the brain, once her brain settles down, the, r the bars are gonna come, come down, and you'll be able to see that. Hopefully, they, she must be nervous. <laughs> because there, it's, see all that activity going on right now. And there are no bars to show at all. But, no, you're, yeah, you're fine. We're good. Are, are there any questions about what's going on? So one, once again, what is the purpose of doing this process? So the purpose is there is something in, uh, in your life that needs to be resolved um, that you don't want to use drugs or surgery to resolve. And so this trains your brain to be in a healthy pattern to resolve those issues. So for example, if, if, if Janet had um, migraines or depression or insomnia, then this would treat those issues. It's a little more ADD for me. Oh. I just, I've always been kind of an ADD kind of person. See, this stop. I turn around and, like, I'm not watching this. It's not good. Um, and what I've noticed after, I think I'm on my sixth visit with my doctor. It's, it's 20 half hour sessions. Um, is that you, before? Is that I, I'm not jumping around from task to task as much. I'm finding I'm just kind of hanging normal. I'm more of a random organizer. Now I'm like being more of a sequential organizer, which is really weird. Okay, I've never been like that in my life. So I'll be able to so in case you didn't get that, you need to start with a minimum of 20 sessions. They take about half an hour. The first session is much longer. Chelsea, did you need to say something? Oh, I was just going to say, so basically what happens is the, tr the brain trains itself to self-regulate so that it can function more efficiently and more effectively. And, um, so, so is this the therapy that you're providing right here? Yes. Is that what that is? This is what's, what's going on right now. And so all you do is you'll come in, and I'll hook you up like I did her, and it's all non-invasive. The electrodes of the leads are just monitoring. Like, basically, we're reading your brain like a book. So nothing is going in. It's all going to be just monitored right there. And then the patient will sit and like she's doing now, she'll watch a video or you can even bring in your own videos from home, DVDs, that's something you want to watch. We have video games. Uh, my control pad, I left over there. But um, so it's just really, you just come in, relax, and let your brain do all the work. The children that we have coming in really like this. It's very simple. Nobody's asking them questions or probing into how they're feeling. Um, it, it, they just relax and get to watch a, a, a game on the computer. Mm -hmm. Dana, did you have a question? Well, I just want to make a comment, actually. I was looking at the, uh, the computer screen over here, and when Chelsea was actually talking with members of the audience and answering their question and talking about her own background and experience, 
it really came to life over here. I mean, I, it just, all these colors suddenly burst onto the screen, and it was like, whoa, there's major brain activity happening now, so. So the brain is taking in new information and yeah. processing it, and. Mm -hmm. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, my ex-husband coming out of Iraq, it's a basic therapy that they use. Oh, yeah, P oh, also PTSD, they've just made major breakthroughs with neurofeedback and PTSD. Yes, uh, they. What is the PSD? What is that? That is post-traumatic stress syndrome. So anyone coming, you know, from war, war or traumatic, you know, childhood traumas, car, wreck, yeah. car wrecks, anything. Childbirth. Childbirth, yeah. <laughs> no, it, it can. That's a true statement. Question? Can you treat hardcore addictions? Yes, that is another major thing that we can do is addictions. And we actually... Addictions, the great thing about an addiction with this is with most therapy, they have to, they just learn to no longer use. With neurofeedback, it gets to the point where the brain gets out of the habit that it doesn't remember it was a user in the first place. So tobacco, heroin. Terror, yes, anything, any addiction, food, anything. So. How about that? <laughs> hmm, I don't think so. I'm but you're welcome to pay us a lot of money to find out about that. <laughs> it can help you become. That'll help. <laughs> you can fund the research. Fuel the dead It can it can help with uh, organization and then maybe you learn to budget and then get yourself out of debt. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Janet just mentioned pain, and this also helps with fibromyalgia and different um, arthritis, uh, we, and they've even found that it can help with asthma. Uh, migraines is a big one. We can get rid of migraines, headaches, um, any, any type of... Did you know. have a question? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, so if a person came in, they really didn't know what was wrong, but they didn't feel 100%, this will indicate or evaluate their emotional state or... We will sit the person down for a very long intake. It takes about an hour usually um, to go through all the symptoms um, from birth up and, and get all the information about what your body and mind are doing, how it's affecting your daily functioning, and then based on that information and the patterns that are formed, then we uh, choose the areas on the scalp to treat. So does this actually cure anything, or is it just a tool by which the brain takes care of itself? It will cure many things. Some things like um, pain that's really uh, long-term due to like multiple surgeries or whatever is something that can be treated and managed. Um, so some things are managed and many things are, are cured. Is that your opinion? Yes. Um, well, I don't like to use the word cure, but what I like to say is once the brain learns to function effectively and efficiently on its own, things that were out of order, as in migraines, anxiety, depression, pain, all that will just decease or stop or lessen. Is this a technology and science that you would say is like a step above or beyond biofeedback? which so many people were using in the 80s and in the 90s? Well, this is biofeedback. It is biofeedback. This is so EEG. Is. Yes, this is EEG biofeedback, also known as neurofeedback or neurotherapy. And so it's it specifically biofeedback to the brain. To the so brain. you can find biofeedback therapists that will treat different parts of the body, your abdomen or whatever. Um, but this is just the brain. That's all we do. We're just focusing on the brain. Right. And... One last question. Just, I don't know if you can ha answer this, but someone, you say they have to have 20 sessions. Is that, yes. is that a requirement based that on? That is. I mean, like if it's an addiction, is it worse? So you may have to have more or less conditions or less, or is it always going to be just 20? No, it could be, it could be more depending on how the person is, but it, doing less than 20 or less than 10 is not going to be functional or helpful. You're trying to train something by creating a new habit for your brain. So you need to repeat that, and so the EEG Institute recommends 20 treatments, and that's where we start. That's where we start, and that, that could be all you need, but normally you probably would need more. 
And that's just like she was saying, because the train, the, the brain, excuse me, the brain needs to train, retrain itself. And especially for adults, it can take longer, you know, because if they've had these habits or patterns for years and years, but sometimes the brain will just grab hold and run with it. So everyone's different. And the one thing that I wanted to say also, uh, the reason that we are doing the neurofeedback is because with the acupuncture together, they're a great combination and the possibilities are endless. <laughs> great for children, especially in cases like autism and really younger children. They can bring in a favorite movie that they've watched a hundred times. You know how kids like to rewatch Cars or, or whatever. And uh, we can put that in. They know what the next sequence or the next uh, phrase that's going to be said is. And if their brain's not functioning, it stops. And they're like, whoa! And their brain just goes right back into the right place. And they're, they're much more easily trained. Uh, one last question, and Carrie's telling us we need to stop. Well, once, once you start the therapy, uh, how long is the basic session and how much do they cost? So uh, for the 20 treatments, it's going to be $300. And I, I am requiring that you come at least twice a week. More is better, but at least twice a week for the 20 sessions. And like I said, it's going to be $300. How long are the sessions, Chelsea? Oh, they're half-hour sessions. So that includes the, the consult, the first consult? Yes. So the first, the first session is going to be about an hour and a half, because we need about an hour for the intake, and then you want to get a treatment the very first time. Yes. OK. So call um, Healing Points Acupuncture at 376-4527. Or uh, for specific neurofeedback questions and scheduling, what's your number? You can call me at 435-250-6062. Thank you very much.